Well, they're important to local economics and the government, but Louisiana's coastal wetlands also play a role in protecting us from storms. As Mike McDaniel explains, that protection has been decreasing over the years, which has some ecologists worried. As folks in southwest Louisiana continue to piece their lives back together, the state's wetlands are also part of the puzzle. They're very important to us as a buffer. Wetlands ecologist and professor at Loyola University, Bob Thomas, says Louisiana's fragile coastal environment is a problem when hurricanes like Laura hit the state. It was a storm that came in and brought us 10 to 20 feet of, of surge, and there was no buffer there for Lake Charles. Uh, whereas in the old days, those marshes would have been a lot, in a lot better condition, and they would have absorbed a lot of that water that came in and the brunt of the storm. Thomas says for every 2.7 miles of healthy coastal marsh, storm surge is dampened by a foot. While generally resilient by nature, Thomas says things like industry and infrastructure over the years keep the wetlands from performing as a sound ecosystem. So now it's much more fragile. And so we have to speculate every time we have a major storm like this, uh, did we cross a tipping point? Thomas says one tipping point was in 2005. If you had never built the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, when Katrina came in and all that, that water was pushed across toward New Orleans, uh, most of it would have been absorbed and you would have had maybe one or two feet hit those 17 foot high levees. But instead, it was wide open water and all that water came in and literally topped over some of the levees. While there's no scientific data yet on Hurricane Laura's impact to coastal wetlands, Thomas says the next six to eight months will be a time to see how the wetlands respond. In the meantime, the concern is how humans continue to use those wetlands. The more we develop in those wetlands, the more industry we put in there, the more straight shots for salt water to move around, the more we destroy the, wet, the, the vegetation and the like, um, the more it's going to cost humans in the long run. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.